Look at this place, huh? Ah, this is living large. Did we just travel back in time? The Altman brothers have arrived, my liege. Hey, guys. How are hello, you? Hello, hello. How you doing? How's it going? Hi, Rich Jebby. Good to meet you. Josh. Hey, hey, Josh. hey Rich. Nice to hey, meet Josh. you. Hey, How are you, David, how's, how's it going? going? You guys are twins? Yeah, he just looks older. Yeah, true. <laughs> I actually feel like when I'm looking at you two, I'm looking at a mirror of the two of us. You're like the upgraded, it's like, taller what is it, version. Topo, topo ganger? <laughs> David Gebbia used to be married to a very well-known Beverly Hills socialite, and they lived with their family in Beverly Ridge. But now that he's relocating to Florida, it's time to sell on behalf of the family trust. You know what's cool about this neighborhood is it went from zero to 100 in a matter of like four years. Oh, exactly. Yeah. We bought the lot in 04. Okay. The family built the entire, built the house. Oh, you did? Yeah. You built this from scratch. Built from scratch. Three years. You know, at the time, my ex was involved in the design and she's from England, so we brought in a lot of that. I believe that your home is your sanctuary and it's very necessary. Put your imprint in there. When I was probably about seven years old, I would imagine the castle that I would build. And we did it. We bloody did it. This is our playroom. I want to make it kind of like the 20s, kind of like burlesque style. Yes. This burlesque room is going to be mommy and daddy's playroom. Oh, what is this? So this is the bar area. Wow, look at the detail. The ceiling, it's hand carved. People buy condos for what the ceiling costs. These are obviously incredibly expensive. Uh, you guys want to see the kitchen? Yeah, this is yeah. the kitchen for sure. Wow, so Again, this is with great. All details and you got the kitchen that is open. Exactly. All right, cool. Let's check out the bedrooms. Yeah. This is a hell of a staircase. Those are custom. Yeah, everything's custom. Oh my God. This is all master? This is a ballroom. I mean, you got three chandeliers in your master. <laughs> Look at this. This was taken out of a church. We had it uh, flown over from Paris and it cost about $30,000. Really? Yeah. So two bathrooms, his and hers. You got a house that's gothic, kind of medieval, cool, but you also have state of the art. So you got the steam room. The finished edge bathroom. I love it, I love it. This was the hers master closet. It's a good size. And there's a balcony right here? Wow. As the sun rises in me window, the commission is my east. The world of buyers is me west. Rise, my son, and bring me a buyer. This is crazy. Ah, hello. <laughs> me lords, me ladies. I am Sir Josh <laughs> from the house of the Altman Brothers. We welcome you to Beverly Ridge of Nine. Enjoy the festivities. Please, come on into me castle. We have 15,200 square footage here. We're here to answer questions all day until 2 p.m. when Brokers Open is over. Okay, <laughs> thank you for coming. Did you have this in your closet? Yeah, this is my Saturday wear. Amazing. So have you been up here before? Yeah, I think it was staged at that time, six, seven months ago. Yes, when you saw it, it was what, $20 million? Yeah. So now we're at 16 and a half. Lot size is a little under 75,000 feet. The dirt alone could arguably be $12 million. Right. So it's five bedrooms, it's six baths. You live in Beverly Hills now? Truesdale, we gotta upgrade now. I love Truesdale, but they definitely don't have houses like this in Truesdale, that's oh for sure. <laughs> The mosaic work is all custom. This is a very cool room. Come on over here. Amazing. Yes. What's so. the best room in the house? Me master. <laughs> the master bed was actually two king beds put together. Wow. This is an antique piece. It was actually shipped in a crate over from Europe. You have all these Juliet balconies over here. Wow. 
This is perfect because you have dual master suites. For 16,000 square feet, you want to make sure you have oh, yeah. a separate suite. I have a client who used to play for the Jets, and so his details are something yes. so much. Well, and you're talking about representing NFL players. I mean, the, the height here, perfect for an athlete. And that's exactly what they're looking for. <laughs> I actually have somebody in mind. Okay. They live uh, in New York right now. They're in entertainment, so they need a West Coast residence. They have children, they want a big house, they want pool, palm trees, view, the whole thing. I was almost not going to come by just based on pictures, but I saw your Instagram feed. Oh, you did? With the nights thing, love it. <laughs> Flag. Hello. Dear Frederick. Dear Charles. How are you? I do good. How are you? What's going on? Welcome am, to Los uh, Angeles. Uh, I feel welcome. Are you getting acclimated? Emotionally, spiritually. Okay. I think I'm even speaking and walking slower than in New York. Okay. This is a lot, this looks amazing. Yeah. This is good. When was this um, renovated? Probably 10 years ago. Mm. Are you here now permanently or are you going back and forth? I'm here, but I go back and forth. And I was in Miami this week and I'm always on an airplane, but yeah, I'm here. That's a lot of travel. Yeah, but it's also very exciting. Like this buyer is from New York, looking for a place here in LA. He likes to entertain a lot, but he wants to make money. I saw the price had been reduced here quite a lot. Quite a bit. What is the deal? My client bought this, the height of the market, for five, eight and change. She's probably in it for six, three. Wait, so she's like 50% off? Oh yeah. Why is she selling now then? Her lifestyle changed. She doesn't want a big house anymore. And she got a fabulous place in Century City and it is what it is. Okay, let's see, let's walk around. So you see, this is where you enter. Up the stairs, you have living room. A little bar. And this is a great little moment here. It's four million bucks, it's a great location. It's a lot of bang for the buck. So why isn't it sold? I, you tell me. It sold for six, almost six million dollars. You tell me. Mm hmm Let's continue. We have our dining room. Okay, cute. Look at this. You have your family room slash kitchen. This is nice. It's a good house. So come on out here. He's had a bad experience in New York where he bought something and all of a sudden there was a building coming out. And this is typical Bird Streets. Construction everywhere. The good thing is that if he's looking to invest here, he's just gonna raise the comps over time. Okay, All let's right. continue. The house needs to smile more. It's like, it's a little frowny. Well, it's also old, and when people get old, they start frowning too. Frederick is like the love child of a Labrador and a peacock. You don't mind pictures, right? Come here. That's actually a good picture. 